Chickweed has a worldwide reputation in folk medicine for being very soothing to the skin. And although science has not found any reason to back up this claim, many people really like it and it's harmless. It's actually edible. And although I don't love to eat it, I do like making salve with it. So let's do that today. It's very plentiful as a weed and coming out of the cracks of sidewalks and all over your garden spot early in the spring. As the weather heats up, it doesn't survive. So do this in early spring if you plan to do it at all. Salves may be made several ways. The goal is to extract the good things in the plant into an emollient base. We almost always do this by use of heat. Very often it, a liquid oil like olive oil is used and then thickened and made solid with beeswax. Another approach is to use something like lard or petroleum jelly that is solid at room temperature and extract into that. I have other videos on those methods and while I like them, the beeswax in one version and the petroleum jelly itself in the other version doesn't agree with the skin on my face. It's a little too thick. I'd like to be able to use this on my face if I need to. For example, in the case of a sunburn or a bug bite. So today we're going to compromise and extract into coconut oil, which as you probably know, at normal room temperature tends to be solid. On a hot sunny day in the summer, it will liquefy right on its own. So we're gonna just melt it in this jar sitting in the sun. I have two jars in which pimentos were originally packaged, washed and clean and ready to receive the new salve. To do this indoors with traditional methods, use a double boiler. I'm going to be using a sun oven for this demo. If cooking indoors, this double boiler would be perfect. Water goes in the bottom pan, herbs and oil go in the top pan, the clear lid will allow us to keep an eye on the progress of the ointment. On a gas or electric burner, using a double boiler controls the amount of heat that actually comes in contact with the oil, making it much, much less likely for you to have a dangerous overheating incident. Whatever method you use, you must not walk off and leave it, even though sometimes you can set a timer for some things in the kitchen or the sun oven this is not a case of that because we're boiling oil. It could overheat and that would be dangerous and certainly ruinous to the product. The liquefied oil goes in a jar that can stand the heat, such as a mason jar, and the herbs go in with it. I like to push them down and use as many as I can fit. Put a lid on it for the sun oven. A clear one is good. A clear one is actually good on a double boiler too because we love to be able to see the product and how it's developing but a tight fitting one is a bad idea. It needs to not be able to build up pressure, so use a loose fitting lid. The exact length of time will depend on the temperature that your unit, whatever you're heating with, achieves, and also on the nature of the plant material itself. This chickweed went in at about 300 degrees in the sun oven and cooked for about an hour and a half, and it went from 300 to 350 in that time. I was watching very closely, looking for smoking and overheating and keeping my nose aware too, because that's usually the first inkling you get that something is too hot. But at that temperature, everything went just perfectly. In this piece of video, you can actually see it boiling nicely. And the green color is entering the oil and the plant material is progressively losing its color. And that's one of the ways you know it's time. You can also dip a little bit out, allow it to cool, check the color and texture and aroma and decide based on that. Do not dip a finger directly in. It's boiling oil. It will hurt. If it does start to overheat, turn the heat way down if you're on an indoor range. If you're on a sun oven, vent it or even open it all the way. Here I've opened the oven and let it sit a few minutes with the reflectors still up, but no cover on it because I want this jar to cool down enough to handle it safely. Even with gloves on, it's awfully hot right now. Towards the end of that time period, 
the lid comes off the jar for a little bit more cooling. The oil is still so hot, it won't be difficult to pour. When you can safely carry it over to the table, protect the table with something and your hands and pour the oil through a sieve into the jars. Of course, these should be heat tolerant jars. Most things that commercially prepared jams and foods come in are heat tolerant because they've been through a canning process. Pressing down on the plant material will cause it to release more of the salve or the oil that is now infused with the plant goodness and drain that into the jars too. It can be a little bit hard to predict exactly how much you'll get. You never get the total amount of the oil you put in because some always sticks, but you can get close. The length of time that the salve takes to solidify is going to vary with the temperature of the day and which solid thing you actually used. This coconut oil is going to take quite a while because it's a warm day. It's down to about body temperature now, so I can safely cover it and not get too much condensation, and then it'll be solid in another hour or two.